So I thought to start off today's vlog, we'd actually do a little book haul because yesterday I ended up going shopping at Barnes and I didn't really plan on doing a bookstore vlog or anything, but I did take a few cutie little clips of it. And now we're here. Today is Saturday and I actually have like a few fun little things planned for the night, but I wanted to start the vlog off with a fun book haul. I picked up some very exciting books. Two of them I have been eyeing for the longest time. Every time I'm at Barnes, I pick them up, I read through them and I'm just like, ah, oh, I really want to read this book. But for some reason, I've just like never taken them home with me and I finally decided to pick them up. So before we hop in to the little book haul though, I actually want to share a super fun app with you guys called Mistplay, which happens to be the sponsor of today's video. Literally one of the coolest things I think I've used in the longest time. If you're not familiar with Misplay, they're basically a loyalty app for all of us cozy gamers out there, which I don't know about you guys, but your girl plays a lot of cozy games on her Nintendo Switch, so Misplay has been like a dream for me. The really cool thing about Misplay though is that you can actually earn rewards by discovering and playing games on your phone. Whether you want to earn rewards for your daily coffee at Starbucks, Fortnite Battle Pass, your Amazon purchases, Spotify purchases, Two of the rewards I'm actually trying to redeem right now is for Amazon and Target because I also buy a lot of my books from those two places and it's just so cool that I can play games on Misplay and earn rewards towards buying books. That's literally the coolest thing ever. I found so many new cozy games through Misplay as well. I'm super into puzzle games, strategy games. I really love role-playing games and Misplay literally has it all. So if you're a gamer girly like myself, you will literally love Misplay because the more you play, the more points you earn and then basically you just redeem your points for gifts cards from your favorite brands like Amazon, Target, Starbucks, Spotify, Nintendo, literally all of the essentials. My favorite game that I've loved playing so far on Misplay is Goods Tidy 3D. Like I said, I love doing puzzle games. They're so relaxing and cozy in my opinion. It's a super fun sorting game where you have to rearrange the pieces, but I love that the pieces you're like rearranging are super cute and it's just so crazy to me that while playing this game, I'm earning points towards future gift cards that I can use towards books. Like that is literally so cool. Another one I really like is Merge Gardens. 
Games. This is another really fun puzzle game, but it kind of has more of a storyline to it, which I really like. But literally the games are endless. Misplay has so many fun and cozy games to choose from. I literally could not recommend Misplay enough. It's such a fun way to work towards gift cards and put them towards things that you really want, like coffee and books. You can visit misplay.com slash Alexa Ray or use the link down below. I'll also put a little QR code on the screen for you guys. You'll get 200 points for just signing up today in addition to 50 points if you use my code Alexa Ray, which of course will just help you towards redeeming your first gift card. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. I could not recommend it enough. But with that being said, we are going to hop right in to my book haul. I wonder if some of you will be able to tell what these blue books are because they were pretty popular when they dropped but I don't know if everyone's like super into them. First off, we need to fix the lighting in here. Much, much better. So we're gonna hop right into the book haul and then I actually wanna give you guys a fun little home update. I've talked about it in probably the last five videos of mine, but we recently moved into a new home, which is crazy. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I actually have my own little office now and my own little at-home library. I haven't done like an office update. The last time you guys really saw this space, I only had the bookshelves in here and now I have my desk in here. I have a cutie little new chair and just like some fun other little updates, but we'll talk about that in a second. We're gonna do a book haul first. We're gonna start with the Off Campus series. These are the brand new editions that were rolling out by Bloom. They are brand new covers, which I am so so happy about. So this is the OG cover of the Dio, which is also rolled out by Bloom. And then this is the brand new one and the spines. And then also we have some pretty sprayed edges on the new ones. But basically I'm not like a big fan of people on like book covers, like real people on the front of book covers. It's just like, it's not like my favorite. I'm just a very minimalistic type of person to be honest. And I like cutie little book covers. This is like honestly adorable in my opinion. I think all of them came out so beautifully. So I'm really happy I was able to get my hands on four of the books. I actually have to get book four, which I think is the goal. Book one is The Deal, one of my favorite, favorite books ever. We have The Mistake, which is book two. I love the spines of these. I love when book series have like the numbers on the spines. I don't know why. I don't know if that's like an unpopular opinion. I feel like it is so aesthetic and nice to have the books numbered like this. Book three, is the score. This one is so cute. And then book four, like I said, we still have to get. And then book five is the legacy. This is probably my favorite to be honest because it's all four girls and then it's the boys on the ice. And I just think it is so stinking cute. But this is what they all look like. I just have to get book number four. And then we have the beautiful blue edges. They were also like buy one, get one half off at Barnes. So I feel like I had to take advantage because they were definitely books I was eyeing every time I went. Next up, we have Saving Six by Chloe Walsh. This is another brand new cover release from Bloom. This is book three in the Boys of Tommen series. I am loving these new covers. Bloom is doing like these special first prints of the book. They come with ombre spines and then when the whole series is done it's going to be like this really beautiful ombre. Next up we have Emily Wilde Encyclopedia of Fairies. This is the Barnes and Noble special edition and guys this is one of the books that every time I walked into Barnes I would pick this book up. Literally since it first came out and it was just like the cutie hardcover I would pick it up every time and like look through it and I'm like should I get it should I not get it and so I finally decided to pull the trigger and pick it up this is like a new special edition that they just did I don't know if you can tell they have that really cool worn slash ripped page effect and I think it is so so pretty this cover in general is just absolutely stunning in my opinion and book two actually just came out in this series so I'm really hoping Barnes and Noble does like a matching special edition down the road. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm happy I finally picked it up. I definitely want to read it very, very soon. Last but not least, we have Belladonna by Adeline Grace. I actually bought book two of this during the holidays, which is Foxglove. And I originally picked it up because it was one of the special Barnes and Noble Black Friday things they were doing. It's actually signed by the author. So I was like, I have to get it because I've heard so many good things about Belladonna. I was like, why not? I should just get the second one. What actually like drew drew me to picking this book up yesterday. Owl Crate's YA box actually came with a Belladonna pin. 
that is absolutely stunning they're doing like this perfect pairing thing this year and i just think it's so cute and then they also came with these beautiful golden spoons that are also inspired by belladonna and i don't know if you guys can tell but there are really cute little quotes on them from the book this one says hello little bird and then the other one says come to stab me again and i don't know what it is about these spoons or this pin but i immediately had to go and pick up belladonna i really want to read this book as soon as i'm done with the one i'm currently in the middle of So like I mentioned, I have made a few little fun updates to the office. I'm like so proud and excited for it because it finally feels like an office. Like I've been working in here the past few days and I'm genuinely like so happy to sit in here every day and edit and film. It just makes me so excited because I've literally always dreamed of having something like this. So you guys have already seen the bookshelves a little bit in my library video. But since that video, I've actually changed like a whole lot with the bookshelves. I decided to push all the books back instead of having them all the way to the front of the shelf i just think it looks a lot cleaner and nicer i also added some books to the top of the shelf i feel like it really helps with taking up a lot of the empty space because the ceilings are actually really really high here the shelves have changed a lot since the last time you guys have seen them this shelf is actually in the works because i have like a new set of the magnolia parks universe coming in so those are just like on standby until they come in but we have the nakama out series up top this is my new little dark romance shelf and then we also have some dark romance down here plus a little star wars card because of course then we have all the fun random romances this is still one of my favorite bookshelves we have my ally hazelwood special editions up top literally the prettiest books i own then we have the cowboy shelf obviously elsie silver deserves her own shelf we have the twisted slash kings of sin series another one of my favorite favorite authors and then i actually ended up putting like our little film strip right here i think it looks so so cute this is just like kind of random but we have like the hockey books here and then i also have some hockey cards here of chris and i and then right next to it we have the addicted series and then right below it we have my book of the month ally hazelwood books and then these are just like my summer romances right on the shelf here these are all like positive bookish affirmations i got them in a romance box from owl crate and they are literally so stinking cute literally Literally, these two shelves here are like perfection in my opinion because they are just some of my all-time favorites and then they're also books that I cannot wait to read this year. We also have my two editions of Powerless up there next to my YouTube plaque. And then this shelf is just kind of like a junk shelf right now. <laughs> we have my lover poster right there, which is literally one of my favorite pieces. And then we have the desk where I sit every day and edit. I really feel like the whole office is really starting to come together. There are still some like little things I want to add in here, maybe like a little bit more artwork i have like this huge windowsill here that i would really love to like put more decorations on but i'm pretty happy with how it's turning out i'm just like I'm so excited about it we are actually about to head out because chris has hockey practice i'm actually going to help out with social media i'm gonna take you guys along with me we're gonna go have some fun Okay guys, we just got home. Chris just had like a normal hockey practice tonight and I usually don't go to those, but I went tonight because I was kind of helping out with the social media and I actually ended up miking up Chris and one of his other friends. And it was actually so funny, like the things that the boys say while they're on the ice. It's pretty funny. I was just helping out, recording them. I had them mic'd up. And then I actually ended up doing a little reading. I'm reading A Fragile Enchantment right now by Allison Saft. This is the Fairy Loot Special Edition. So far, I'm only like 100 pages in, but it's starting to pick up a lot. In the beginning, I was a little nervous because the writing style is a little bit different than what i'm used to honestly it was really hard for me to get into it and i found myself having to reread like chapters sometimes because i just like wasn't retaining what i was reading for some reason but now that i'm getting into like the exciting part of the book it's definitely picking up and i'm really starting to enjoy it you guys will hear so much more about it in another reading vlog that i'm doing with this definitely stay tuned for that i think now for the rest of the night i'm just gonna hang out and do some reading chris is relaxing on the couch he isn't feeling too well which makes me nervous because we actually have hockey tomorrow 
well and we're going to Ohio for it so hopefully he is feeling better in the morning but I'm just gonna relax the rest of the night and kind of wind down since we have a super super long day tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be like a super long day but like short for the vlog just because I'm gonna be helping out with the social media. We're gonna be traveling the majority of the day so I am gonna take you guys along with me for it but probably not like too much footage because I don't want to bore you guys. I think I'm gonna carry this in to Monday and we're gonna do a little weekly reset slash monthly reset. We're already getting to the end of February which is so crazy to me. I feel like this month flew by which is so funny because January was the longest month ever in my opinion. I also have two other things I really want to do. One of them being my reading journal for this year. I really really need to fill this out. I haven't put any of my 2024 reads in this one yet and then I also have this really cute book nook that I really want to build. I have always wanted to build one of these and Chris's grandma got me one for Christmas. Look how cute this one is and I didn't realize it but it actually comes with like real wires and stuff to put into it so it lights up. I can't wait to put it together and have it like lit up on the bookshelf somewhere. It's so interesting too like this is what it looks like. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm actually so excited. to Ohio for Chris's hockey game today. We're leaving a little bit earlier than I thought we were because we're actually taking two of his friends with us. So I actually did a little poll on my Instagram like a few days ago asking you guys to ask me questions that you were just like wondering about and I thought I would answer a few while I finish getting ready. One of the more common questions that I've gotten is if I went to college and if so like what did I major in? So I did go to college and it's actually really funny that that's like such an asked question because when I started my YouTube I was in college so I was actually doing like little day in the lives of being a college student so it's so funny that like here I am now doing YouTube but like there's some of you out there who like weren't around for the OG days like that so yes I went to college I went to the university at Buffalo my whole undergrad studies was kind of like a whirlwind because when I started I actually was majoring in pre-law I did it for a year and a half and then I just kind of realized that I don't don't think law school was going to be a good fit for me and then I actually transitioned into English and psychology honestly this is probably the most common question I got was how did Chris and I meet how long have we been together we got married a little bit over a year ago we've been together for almost seven years and then how we met it's kind of like two stories so Chris and I actually went to high school together but he was like in a higher grade than I was it's really funny when we like started Started dating and talking more we had found out that we actually grew up right down the street from one another and we were always hanging out at the same places we were kind of like mingling in the same friend groups I don't remember crossing paths with him when I was younger but I feel like we definitely did because he literally was friends with all the same people I was friends with so we did go to high school together we grew up down the street from one another but I never actually knew him I did briefly meet him when I was like 14 he was like dating Dating this girl in my grade and that was like the first time and like last time I had ever met him which is really funny I met him that one time and then I literally never saw him again fast forward to 2017 I had just graduated high school I started my new job downtown I was getting ready to start college in the fall but I'll start it I went to a st. Patty's Day party okay it was with my boss at the time I was super super close 
emails to like my boss and all my co-workers and one of her best friends came up to me and was like oh my gosh i have like the cutest son ever he would absolutely adore you i was just like oh my gosh that's so sweet of you so nothing ever came of that and then i met her again at like another party and then literally on the 4th of july i got like a text and it ended up being chris definitely interesting how we kind of like grew up so close to one another but we never really knew each other it always reminds me of invisible string by taylor swift i literally feel like that is the perfect song to describe us because i literally feel like there was always like an invisible string tying us together next up is what is your favorite book slash author there are so many books in book series that i absolutely love especially like authors like so many authors that i have that i absolutely adore and that i have like on my must read list whenever they come out with something new but i have to say the two books that are like my favorite books at the moment well i'll say three books because all three books i've talked about like religiously on my channel since i've read them archer's voice by mia sheridan that was a book i read back in 2022 divine rivals by rebecca ross is one of my favorite favorite books of all time and then powerless by lauren roberts i read in the fall of last year and that book literally changed everything for me some authors that are on like my must read list would have to be authors like ali hazelwood stephanie garber is definitely a must author for me i literally never buy anything off tiktok shop but i caved and i bought the wavy talk this thing is literally incredible i cannot believe it i thought it was going to be one of those things where it was super hyped up and it wasn't actually like a good product because that's happened so many times to me but this thing has actually changed my entire life when it comes to doing my hair because it makes doing my hair so fast and easy Hi guys, we are back in the bathroom. Today is Monday. I am just finishing up my makeup. We're getting ready. We're gonna head out and go get some groceries. I usually like to do my resets on Sundays, but because we had hockey yesterday and we were away, we couldn't do that, obviously. So we're gonna do it today. We're gonna go out and go grocery shopping. I'm gonna kind of do a little sweep of the apartment, clean up a little bit. We also have hockey again tonight. Chris has like one of his men's league games. So we're gonna go to that and yeah we're kind of just like taking it slow today because yesterday was such a long day we got home super super late I feel like i am moving in slow motion today i am just gonna finish getting ready i'm not even really doing a lot of makeup today because i'm so out of it but we're gonna change fix the hair and we're gonna head out Hi guys we went straight to hockey because we were kind of running late i don't know why we always say we're gonna be like super fast in the grocery store and then it's like an hour passes by and we're like holy cow like what happened so we came home really quick and we had to go to hockey and then after hockey we kind of just relaxed for the night and then today we kind of did like a deep clean of the apartment i'm just finishing up like the rest of our laundry now it was literally overflowing and now i kind of just have like a moment to relax and breathe so i was literally doing work all day long and I thought 
we would start filling out my little reading journal. There's a few books I really want to get added into here. There's so many fun little pages and prompts to fill out. I feel like this vlog is like all over the place and I feel like all my vlogs lately have been just all over the place. I literally used to vlog all the time on my channel. Like that was my thing guys. I stopped doing it for so long that I feel like I've just forgotten how to do it which is so silly. I just get so self-conscious and I feel like I overthink everything when I do vlogs and I don't know why but I always feel like my vlogs are just boring because like half the time I'm just talking about random stuff and the other half of the time I'm probably just talking about books. So let me know down below what you guys would like want to see more of in my vlogs. I also know that once like spring and summer rolls around it's going to be so much more fun because I'll be going out more. We'll be doing so much more fun stuff together and traveling. I find that it's always hard in the winter time when it comes to vlogging because I'm indoors most of the time. So yeah anyways we are going to start filling out the reading journal. We're going to add in some of the books I've read so far this year. I'm going to try and make this like meatball in rice dish for dinner that I'm going to kind of show you guys. We've had it like twice now and we've really liked it so we're going to get better at this I promise. We're going to go from there. Mm -hmm. 